Hello and welcome to the Amazon Simple Email Service Deliverability Learning Series. My name is Alaa Hamad and I'm a Senior Cloud Support Engineer for Amazon Simple Email Service. I help customers to fix issues related to email delivery which are focusing on inbox deliverability. Amazon SES is a cloud email service provider that can integrate into any application for bulk email sending. Senders from small startups to large enterprise accounts can use SES to reach their customers, but getting those messages to the recipient inbox can be tricky. Understanding deliverability best practices and what mailbox providers expect from bulk sender is the key to getting messages to a customer's inbox. Today, we are going to be talking about unsubscribes and how they impact your sending repetition. We will discuss what unsubscribes are and what to do if your unsubscribe rates increase. What are unsubscribes? There are several signals that email recipients can send back to the senders to indicate interest or disinterest in the email they are receiving. One of those signals is the use of the unsubscribe mechanism, which should typically be present in all emails with the exception of transactional messages. We will refer to the unsubscribes as opt-outs interchangeably throughout this video. When a recipient chooses to unsubscribe from a sender's email message, they are also requesting to be removed from the regular cadence of messages from that sender. This could mean a particular type of message or potentially all emails from that sender. For example, if a company is sending out a daily newsletter and the recipient unsubscribes from the message, it's an indication that the recipient no longer wants to receive emails from the sender of that type and potentially any messages from the sender. As a result, it's recommended that senders set up different mail channels with different sending domains along with features such as a preference center. This will allow recipients to unsubscribe from specific channels, products, or programs. Senders do want to ensure they are following the regional laws when it comes to implementing unsubscribes in their email messages. Also be sure to consult with your legal team to understand and align with compliance regulations for your email program. You should meet the requirements specific to the mailbox provider you are trying to deliver your message to and comply with their timelines for honoring unsubscribe requests. Many large mailbox providers expect senders to honor unsubscribes within two days typically. Now, let's discuss how do unsubscribes impact your mailing list. Unsubscribes in your mailing list are not necessarily a bad thing, especially when you have a preference center and your recipients and customer can pick and choose what they wish to receive. However, if you are receiving a large volume of unsubscribes on a regular basis, it could be an indicator that your recipients are not happy with what you are sending them or the frequency in which you are sending to them. As a good general rule, only send emails to recipients who request them from you and only send them explicitly what they have signed up to receive. When recipients sign up or add it to a mailing list, it's best to indicate at the point of sign up what they should expect to receive, how frequently they are going to receive it, and ways to opt out of those messages in the future. You do want to make the unsubscribe option visible and accessible to the recipient. Usually this means adding a link in the footer that allows the recipient to submit an unsubscribe request. This could be a link to a preference center where the recipients can unsubscribe from all messages or just a specific category of messages. Senders should also include a list unsubscribe in the email header of their messages that allows email clients to give recipients an option to unsubscribe without actually interacting with the link in the footer. More information on the list unsubscribe mechanism can be found in RFC 8058. So, what to do when you start seeing high unsubscribe rates? Senders should use the unsubscribe mechanism as both a way to honor opt-out requests and also as a signal to improve the recipient experience when unsubscribe spikes overall or is specific to a channel with a preference center. The rate of unsubscribes can vary depending on the market you are in, 
but it should stay relatively consistent over the long term of your email program. Honoring unsubscribes by removing recipients from the active mailing list or preference center selection is an important part of your long-term list maintenance. Additionally, following your trends of unsubscribes from the holistic account sending overview all the way down to the individual campaigns is a way to keep from getting into a high volume spike of unsubscribes. If you start to notice any increase in unsubscribes for a particular campaign series, product, or anything else in the preference center, you should review those areas and see what changes can be made to improve the recipient experience. As always, listen to your audience and take the feedback they provide you when available. In conclusion, unsubscribes are a communication mechanism in the email world that tells the sender that the recipient doesn't want to receive your messages or would only like to receive them from a specific channels. You should honor that preference by removing the recipient from your active mailing list when a recipient requests to be unsubscribed. Use the feedback you are receiving to help create a better experience for your recipients and customers. This will help promote a long-term sender to receive a relationship which should be the goal of any long-term email program. This is the end of the Amazon SES email deliverability learning series focused on unsubscribes. Please be on the lookout for our next deliverability learning series video. I hope this video has helped you better understand what unsubscribes are and how to handle and reduce them long term while still retaining recipients by implementing a preference center option. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thank you for your time.